On the other court, we got Miami versus Cleveland State. I'll try to at least let you know what's going on from the other court. And we still go in charge wise. Yeah, it's so the first game, BG. They lost 6 1 to Ohio. GVSU ready! BG ready! And Miami, they lost their first game against um, Saginaw 6 1. So 6 1 for both courts. It's been a while since BG played against Grand Valley. It's been a long time. I want to say a few years, actually. All right, Cole Wilson goes out on that exchange. And turn this down a little bit. There we go. And yes, Ben Smart is playing. He is playing today. Number 24 about to make the throw. Good reset throw. Josh Hill looking to throw. Just misses. Just misses. Uh-oh. Got him. Wait, no. Yep, that hit him. Yep, he could not. Josh Hill could not snag it. All right, Peach. Woo! All right. 31 goes out of that exchange. Yeah, so GV is very, yeah, so GV is very comfortable just playing the transition game. Oh, whoa! That hit him. That, def that definitely hit him. Wow. This game could turn on his head very, very quickly just depending upon what GV will do. It can get very bad real quick for either team. That, that's a block. Nope, that's a kill. That's a kill. All right, here comes Ben Smart. I think GV only brought 12 people, maybe 13. Maybe. We'll check real soon. All right, Peace is going to throw. Or not. Never mind. All right, Brandon's looking to push up. Josh Hill got him. His transition game was OP for real for him. Easy money. Easy money for him. You can do this all day in his sleep. If you're in range, he's going to get you. That's probably within about 10 feet. Probably less. You're in range. Got him. Got him. Another kill for Josh Hill. Don't be surprised. We're going to be saying that a lot today. Do not be surprised. If you're in range. Oh, Ben Small goes down. Oh, that's a catch for Brandon taking out Tyler Peach. And just like that, GV is very close to being on a 10 count. Oh, that got him. Team throw successful. All right, that'll work. He's by himself. 
That's far enough. Uh oh. Woo! Will that? I don't know. I think they might count it. They might count that. All right, they will count that. Okay. I think GV got seven or six players exactly. Team throw not successful. Huh? huh? He didn't start the timer on the Oh. I'm not even I'm not even worried about that. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure out what the timer is for the head ref momentarily. I got too excited. That was close. Cole Wilson back in. Oh! Woo! Yeah, sorry about the timer, guys. We'll get it fixed soon. It's been a good game. At least five minutes have passed. Easily. Easily. Yup, your range. That's another kill for Josh Hill. The more things change, the more they stay the same, man. I'm telling you, man. You, you're in range. Every single time you're in range. In Josh Hill's range, you're going to get hit. That's another kill. This time, team throw successful for GV. Just like that, BG is now on the 10 count. They have three balls, so they're going to have to get one of them. Once they get under, once they get, well, now they got four. Now they got to throw at some point. All right. Gonzalez, good block. Brandon by himself. Reset throw. Brown, good. Now it's reset throw, good. Seven players for GV, five players for BG. Uh oh. Woo! And he got hit. Brandon by himself now. He took a shot. He was trying to go for Josh Hill. Did not work. Oh, drop catch. Needed that. Three players left. Three players left for BG. Reset throw. Good. Josh Hill. Uh oh, that's too much. Yeah, that's that's too much space for him. Another kill. Once again by Josh Hill. We're gonna be saying that all day. We're gonna be saying that all day, y'all. No bias. We're just gonna be saying that all day. We'll fix the time, because this point is about to go to a GV. We'll fix the time. Two plays left for BG. God, Jesus. Respectable. One play left to beat. All right. Now, this is interesting. There are five players left, so it is a 1v5 situation. A catch will put him in a really good situation. But he has to hurry. He doesn't have to throw here. Hopefully, he knows that. Okay, he still does not have to throw. He has less than three balls. No timer for him. Team throw coming up. Ah, could not... Brown, he's still safe. He's still safe. He's st Never mind. He was out. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get this timer up. Oops. All right, cool. So let's get this timer fixed. One, zero in favor of GV.
17-22. Thank you. And now here you are supporting your old teammates. But yeah, I expect you to say, how's it going? And I was about to say, good. <laughs> and you said, what's good? I'm like, is good a, a response for that? Is that, <laughs> does that work? It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's an appropriate. PG running! PG running! No harm, no foul for either team. It's getting spicy now. It's getting spicy. This would be fun. Uh oh, oh God, Jesus! Woo! That was a good catch by number 30, Will um, Covington, taking out Josh Hill, Brandon. Good throw. Just no dice. All right. Good throw. Both teams have no problem just doing a reset throw. No problem. Yes, Miami is currently playing against um, Cleveland State right now. They may be on this court once, I'm not for sure. We didn't make the schedule, so yeah, both teams just doing reset throw continuously. Just continuously. All right, Wilson looking to do a throw. Right down, oh wait, yes, he got him. Taking out Gonzalez with 31 also go out and that a change for BG. BG has man advantage, slight man advantage. Woo! Uh oh, he's way by himself. He feels comfortable though. Might want to get back though. Brandon. Oh, what a kill by Cole Wilson. Yeah, BG definitely have man advantage now. Ooh, good block. All right, they got man advantage and ball advantage. Got him. And Peace goes down. This is big. Brandon Smart is the um is the one veteran that I know, and he's not even 100%. Team catch! Team catch. Timely. Timely team catch. Much needed. Good job on number 24. Oh! And he caught that. Hook, line, and sinker. Ben Smart is probably not going to throw. But if he is, he, he's going to have a lot of conviction when he throws it. Oh, Josh Hill. Yep, Josh Hill. Yep, he's in range. I'm telling you. We're going to be saying this all day. Like, if you're in range, you're going against Josh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good idea. Like I said, we're going to be seeing this a lot for Josh Hill. If you're in range, you're going to get lit up. You're going to get lit up. So understand your range and see what you can do. All right, now GV is up in front. We haven't seen this much today. Oh, my God. Jesus. Yikes. Yeah, he, he definitely, um, he's, he's going to need a minute. Wait, is he? Wait, what? Ball's over? Oh, man. Wow. Wow. Uncharacteristic mistake by GV. What in the world? You never hear balls over against GV he that often. Ready. That's random. Man, you want to talk about an oxymoron. My goodness. All right, BG got ball control. Let's see what they're going to do. All right, he's still in. Very flexible for number 24 GV, man. My goodness. Super flexible. Team throw, no dice. All right, they're going to have to get back. All right. All right, is Ben Smart going to throw? He's not. 
Oh, drop catch! Man, he needed that. He definitely needed that. BG players may not know if Ben Smart is 100% or not. I know because I was watching uh, the Michigan Dodgeball Cup a few weeks ago. He is pinching. So I won't be surprised if he does draw, but he's not going to be drawing the, in the same level of volume that he once did. All right. He's keeping them honest. If he throws, it's going to be when he wants to throw. That will work. But his teammates are probably going to throw instead. That's, you can't throw to number 36 by yourself. You have to put two on him at the minimum. He's going to eat that up. You, you got to listen. Regardless of the last... Regardless of the last score, BG can still catch. And just like that, 24 goes down. You can't get carried away. You still got to take your opponents out. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in this situation. Ben Smart might have to throw at some point. Oh, man, my man's odd job. My man is super odd job, man. My goodness. All right, let's see what Brandon's going to do. Nice. Four plays left for GV. They have to throw. They got more. They got more than two balls. Brandon looking to throw. Dang! Put two on him, but that is a team catch, and one play comes in. Gonzalez comes in as a result. Really good heads up move by GV getting that ball. Much needed. Ben Smart does not want to throw. He might have to, but he doesn't want to. Uh oh. Ref's not counting. This is going to be intense. Yikes. He's safe. That's okay. Yikes, and now we got some people potentially not calling their outs. That's going to be tough. All right, and okay, and now they're calling out. Okay, Gonzalez is out. Three players left for GV. Ben Smart still in. Most likely going to try and make a catch. Ball's over. Yes, Adam Otto, you're correct. Ben Smart had yet to throw. Very surprised to see him play. Yeah. Yeah, very surprised. GV. GV ready. BG ready. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Here it comes. Team throw. Oh! What a catch. Ben Smart did make the catch. Catch and out, but he did what he had to do, give his teammates an opportunity. Follow goes out on that exchange, unfortunately. BG can get this point. They just gotta play smart. They don't have to be reckless. Nothing reckless, nothing reckless. They can just be themselves. Wait, what? I'm about to say, he definitely got hit. I'm just saying. I just got new glasses and all, but I'm very positive he got hit. And somebody may have taken a shot off the noggin. Two players left for TV. Good team throw. They're going back. He's feeling it. Two players left. No jerseys. We got a Butler jersey? What? And close enough. Color-wise, definitely not the same school. I'm pretty sure Kevin Bell and Dylan Ferris might have something with that. That's a hit. One play left for GV. One play left. Nope. Safe. 
He's just going to push up smart, just keep him on his. Team throw should be coming up real soon. Team throw. Oh, got him. And just like that, the game is tied. Oh, yeah, it's fun now. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Let me change that real quick. There we go. Yeah, this is wild. This is wild. Yeah, Ben Smart. Oh, hold on, man. Let's start this timing up. There we go. There you go. Good. All right. So we know that Josh Hill is going to have to do some heavy lifting in terms of throwing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. I, I appreciate the fact that GV gave my man time to fix his shoes. That's very important. All right, so we definitely know that Josh Hill is definitely going to do some heavy throwing at some point. He knows this. We all know this. Peach. Oh, Peach dropped the catch. That's going to be rough. Yeah, so looking. Yeah, so we're definitely going to look at Josh Hill do some throwing. Probably going to see Gonzalez to do some throws as well, as well as number 24. It's going to be needed. It's going to be needed. Ben Smart haven't thrown yet, but like I said, I don't think BG know this yet. As a whole, I think some of the players know that he's not 100%, but I don't think the rest of the team knows that yet, maybe. But as long as Josh Hill's in the game, GV is always gonna have a chance no matter what. It doesn't matter. You are range. He missed. Oh my God! Aggressiveness. For number 55, Gonzalez. Follow up. Nope. Brandon by himself, and he pays the price. And Josh Hill smells blood, and he's pushing up. And for good reason. Can't blame him. This is exactly what GVs want. This is the situation that they want to be in. Team throw. Got him. Easy money. This is exactly what GV wants. They want to have ball control, and they want to force their opponents to do long throws, forcing you to do reset throw, and just gunning you down the transition game. This is their style. The kill, another kill for GV. Two kills in the past 10 seconds. This is exactly how they want to play. Forcing their opponents on the back line, and we have an injured player from BG, and he paid the price dearly off of that team throw. Yeah, he's definitely holding. Yeah, he got injured pretty bad. Yeah, he's, he's going to need a minute. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. He's in range. Cole got hit. Another kill for GV. God, no, no, White just got a yellow card for Tante, and he's out. He just got a yellow card for Tante. Man, yeah, he's, yeah, Jason's going to make sure, Jason's going to make sure there's like no Tante, y'all. 
zero Tatio. Zero. Five minutes. Five minutes left. Well, it's five minutes left. Team throw, safe. Easy catch, easy catch. Bring it back, my man. He he was hurt. He's back in, so I think he's gonna be okay. Gonzalez pushing, still. Woo! Man, just dodge everything. Wow. Uh oh. Woo! Yeah, we're in the five minutes now. That's not gonna count. They are. All right, I guess it will. All right, Gonzalez, throw, good. All right, followed by himself. Wait, did he? He got him. Brandon take it out number 24. If GV lose another player, they'll be back on the 10 count, I believe. No, they got to eliminate two more players at least. 3.30. 3.30. Oh, this is tight. This game could go one on one. GV still got ball advantage. And they're probably just going to do just one throw at a time, which is smart. I don't blame them. Yeah, so GB got seven players, the majority of the balls. Team throw does not work. Three minutes. All right, three minutes left. All right, Brandon's about to make his move. They got to make a charge at some point. Oh! He got hit. He got hit. You have to respect the call. You have to respect the call. Brandon, long throw, good throw. Gonzalez pushing up, thinking about it. Reset, the oh, he turned. That got him. If he would have stayed still, he would have been fine. Unfortunately, he is not. And just like that, BG will soon be on the 10 count. Because they have less than six players, and now GV should be going aggressive. Oh, they just lost a player. GV got to be careful. We're under two minutes. Well, we're soon about to be under two minutes. Woo! Still safe. Now we're under two minutes. Like I said, don't, don't, don't mind the scoreboard. It's, it's under two minutes. But this game can turn in a hurry, quick and fast in a hurry. Gonzalez, ooh! Rissy, he's still safe. Gonzalez, Brandon. All right, you know what? They, they're gonna play the timer game. So they're gonna have to throw. Like I said, Ben Smart is not gonna throw. Got him! Brandon with the kill. And just like that, GV is now on the 10 count as well. What? Hold up. What happened? That was weird. I'm sorry about that, guys. I think somebody like hit my device or whatnot. Somebody hit my device. We're back. One minute left. We didn't miss too much, thank goodness. Reset throw, no dice. Brown, he's safe. Still safe. Still safe. But unfortunately, Brandon goes out, and he might be hurt, and that is not a good sign for BG. Guns out, pushing, pushing. Thirty seconds left. Three players left for BG. Can BG survive this point? It was crazy. We was about to say, could GV survive this point? All right, seems like nothing too crazy should happen. This game should be tied one to one. Yeah. All right, we should be fine. What? Oh, 
wait a minute. Hold up. This could be a. All right. Now, how much time is left? Six seconds. That might be enough time. Might. It was three seconds, different story. But six seconds with three players left, with balls over, they got a shot. They got a real shot of getting this point, making it two to one at the half. BG running! BG running! All right, here it comes. One. Oh, that's it! Yup! It doesn't matter. It does not matter. He did his job. Number 18 did his job. Even with the timeout, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. GV will not be able to get this point at the half, and we will remain at one apiece. The timeout may be honored. It may not. It doesn't matter. The catch was still, the catch was still made just in the nick of time, and that's going to help BG call tremendously. That's going to give them a lot of confidence. Like I said, it took a 6-0 beating to Ohio and they literally just hit the reset button like you do when you be playing Sega Genesis on Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Just hit the reset button and try again and listen. They find themselves in a situation one-to-one -one on TV. All right. Halftime. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is, um, all right. All right, we're going to take a commercial break. Cool. Try to get this main mic back up. There we go. Cool. Ooh, that's that's kind of hot. That's a hot mic. Let's not do that. Bam. All right, we good now. All right, so let's see what we got from Bill Smart. He said that GV is overrated this year. Once Ben Smart and Rodriguez is out and your aggression is with them, they are beatable. Catch their throws and cross them consistently. But my man from Alec, um, Alex, sorry, my apologies, from Michigan State say, hey, GV's still pretty good. BG running. Um, BG they just running. seem to have lost a lot of the healthy vets. Um, only person on the mic is, oh, shoot. Yikes, let me hit that timer real quick. Uh, the only commentator right now is me, Shadi Drake for from the East Coast. From the East Coast. Some good blocking. Good teamwork, though. He might be hurt. Good job, though. Uh-oh. Josh Hill going to have to take over this game at some point. At some point, he's going to have to take over. Offensively, defensively, blocking, it doesn't matter. Some Somebody's going to have to take over. Hold up. And Brandon with another grown man catch on the camera. Right? My goodness. Yeah, that sting a little bit. I was right there with you, man. Oh, this is going to be a fun battle. Brandon versus Josh Hill. Oh, wait. Easy catch. I'm very positive GV only got 12 players total for this tournament. That's a catch for Josh Hill, and we got it on camera. Yeah. Like I said, Josh Hill is going to have to take over at some capacity. He cannot do Like, whatever he was doing last game, he can't do it. Josh Hill is probably going to have to be aggressive, both offensively and defensively. 
or bait his opponent to throw towards him. Oh, he did it! Yes, he slipped. He was fine until the very last moment. His hand dropped. You hate to see it. Yes, thank you, Fire Justin. Oh, got him! What a vicious hit from Josh Hill. We're going to be saying that all day. I'm, I'm not kidding. Josh Hill is going to have to take over at some capacity. Ben Smart is not going to throw. He is not going to throw. He got like a brace on his right hand, and his left hand is not healthy. Peach is not at 100% either. But like I said, do the BG players, do they know that? And that's too easy. You cannot. You cannot throw a 24 like that. That's too easy, man. That's easy money. Gonzalez, good block. Yikes, that's a terrible reset throw. And just like that, GV should have ball advantage. Josh Hill, what a vicious pump fake. He's going to take his time. He's going to take his time. Dude, he's out, dude. He's, he's yo, he's, he's just chilling, man. GV want to make sure he was out. Nevertheless, team throw, right-hand side. Who wins that exchange? It's Josh Hill this time, taking out Brandon. Another team throw about to come up. We don't know which side, though. Right side, team throw. Got him. Split his vision in half. That's a kill. Peach is just going to wait for his teammate to come up. BG is now on the 10 count. This is looking way more familiar what uh, GV is supposed to look like. Josh Hill in range. Ooh, put a little extra sauce in that. Saucy. White got to make a throw. Well, actually, no, he doesn't. Josh Hill in range. Ooh, somehow he's safe. Somehow. Another good reset throw. White's going to have to make a catch. He's very capable of doing this. Pump fake, single throw, smart. But that ball rolls back. GV's gonna have to make another throw because Bowling Green got less than three balls. Team throw about to come up momentarily. Got him! Three plays left for BG. White is gonna have to make a catch at some point. But they're gonna save him for last probably. Because they know he can wanna make a catch. Team throw, another one. He's still safe. Tough situation for BG. This is exactly what GV wants. i raise his camera up a little bit. Team throw. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Another drop catch. One player left to beat. Where is Josh Hill? There he is. Oh, sweet Jesus. That could have been really, really bad. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Crazy thing is, the game is only two to one. It's only two to one, so. Ooh. 40 people on YouTube. I'm not really sure how many is on Twitch. Let me check the stream real quick. Yeesh, actually, I haven't done my due diligence. My apologies for that. I haven't checked to see if this is a quality stream or not. I should probably do that. Hold up. Yep, that's still going. All right, so we got one on Twitch and 39 on YouTube. All right, so it's a, oh crap. Oh crap. I'll figure out the timer later. Another kill for GV.
Pace taking his time, good transition. They pretty much forcing Bowling Green to throw. They want to play the transition game, and they got ball advantage. He's by himself. Actually, got some help. Good throw. Oh, sweet Jesus. Got him. Two for one special. There's not much you can do. Three players goes out in the, in the last 20 seconds. And, yeah, yeah, Smart did not like that throw. Way more, way more in the comfort zone for, for GV now. Way more in the comfort zone. Ball advantage and transition game is back on point, and he's in range. That's a headshot. It will count as a headshot, even though his hat flew off. He didn't take a full headshot, but his hat went off, so I'm calling it a headshot. Like I said, Josh Hill just got to essentially just be more aggressive in all phases of the game. No, oh God, Jesus. Yeah, two for one special right there. Another two players from BG goes down. And just like that, Bowling Green is back on the 10 count. Another hey. shot, once again, is Josh Hill. Not trying to be biased. I'm just telling you as it is. I'm just telling you as it is, man. It's just, it's just the Josh Hill show. We're just living it right now.
GG running! GG running! BG running! TV running! Six minutes!
BG ready! BG ready! Exactly, like you gotta, you gotta, 
got to at least get up there, do at least one team throw, yep. and then wait for them to make a decision, and then in that follow through, then go for another team throw where you can probably head on around this area because as soon as they throw, this area is open. It's very hard to do this and this like within five seconds. That's enough time, you know. But so we lost that point because. Yeah. Good, good, glad to hear.